Hi everybody, it's Amanda from Amanda Rose Tarot, and we're here to do another pick a card reading. So today I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, we're doing two piles today, so it's going to be either the green pile or the orange pile. And each um, pile is going to have a feminine and a masculine pile. So each reading we will have um, an update on the energy connection, um, how the masculine is feeling, um, thinking, and how the feminine is feeling and thinking. So this is just going to be like an energy connection update, and we're going to have green and orange. Um, so those are the choices today. And so it's going to be love general, um, you know, divine masculine, divine feminine, and I will do a yes, no for each pile as well. So if you have additional questions about the connection, um, then we will answer a question for you too. So I want to thank all my subscribers out there. Um, I have surpassed my 1,000 subscriber goal, so I'm very, very happy about that, and I thank all of you out there for that. And um, I wanted to tell you about the newest reading that I'm doing. Um, it's the five dollar question, one question reading. Um, it's so it's like a quick reading, but you do get cards and you do get a yes no coin flip. So if you have a question about something, um, you want an additional clarification, then I can do that for five dollars. It's just a quick reading, and you get an answer and. You know, I had one person that ordered three um, because they had three separate questions. So that is, you know, acceptable too. Um, whatever you need. So um, once again, thank you guys out there for watching my channel. I'm trying to mix things up. So your feedback is very important to let me know um, if you like these types of readings, these new types of readings, um, because that helps me. Okay, so I'm just going to be quiet and I'm going to let you focus on um, which pile you would like, if you would like the green or the orange, and then we will get an energy update. Okay, so if you pick the green, we are going to spread out the cards so that you can see um, these are the feminine and these are the masculine. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see these. All right, so I'm going to spread out the masculine first and then I'll spread out the feminine Okay, so we've got the Six of Pentacles reversed, the Six of Cups reversed, the Three of Swords, okay, and the Six of Swords. Let me put this up here. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see those cards. So this is the Masculine's Energy. So there's, if the first thing you're going to notice is there's three sixes, there's three six cards there. So, um, you know, six has a bad rap, you know, bad reputation because of, you know, biblical things. Um, but you know, the number six is, um, a number of harmony, a number of balance, a number of responsibility, a number of security. Um, and if you add six plus six plus six, you get 18. And then one plus eight reduces to nine. And nine is actually a good number. Nine is about tolerance. It's about compassion. Um, it's about idealism. And if, if you are seeing this number, six, six, and six together, um, it's, 
it's asking you a question, you know, are you in alignment with your true self? Are you listening to your inner self and doing what it tells you to do? Because, you know, seeing that number may mean that, you know, um, you do have to get back in touch. Um, you need to get that balance back, um, you know, to create harmony in your life. So we've got sixes reversed. So that can be, you know, needing to get that balance back. So first let's go over, well, you've got the three of swords, you know, the masculine got the three of swords. So this is obviously about heartache, um, feeling betrayed, um, it, it, it says that these conflicts can lead to accidents. So, you know, the masculine needs to think about things, what he's doing. Um, he could be acting kind of irrational. Um, you know, he, he's going through something very stressful and um, feeling a lot of heart, heartache, shedding tears. Um, it could be a love triangle. Um, it could be infidelities. Um, but it's causing a lot of heartache um, for this person. And they got um, the Six of Cups reversed. So I feel like this is about, you know, um, the past. But it's lack of growth. It's um, irresponsible actions in relationships. It's indecision in love. It's not making choices. And it's causing a lot of emotional drains. Um... You know, it could be even possible illness caused by these stressful events um, because they're out of balance, out of harmony, um, neglecting responsibilities, um, just just feeling a lot of pain, a lot of heartache. Um, and also um, the Six of Swords here. So the Six of Swords could be... Um, feeling temptation to run away um but d trying to figure out if you want to stay and face the music face the problems and the troubles um having a lot of mental strain um trying to make choices regarding problems and troubles um could be um some healthy unhealthy relationships um that are you know, making it hard to figure out what to do. And then the six of coins or pentacles reversed. It's a it's making unwise decisions, um, expecting things to be given to you. Um, this person could be kind of selfish. They're they're not sharing. They need to try to give more. Um, Don't just expect things to go a certain way. Um, there could be financial increase available to you, but not in the way that you expect it. Or, um, the, but the, the masculine is having some problems right now, unable to make decisions. Um, they can't decide if they want to run away or if they want to stay. Um, they need to make some decisions. They really need to make some decisions because it's starting to affect their health because of all the mental strain that they're going through. And it's to do with the, the indecision in love and not making choices. So it, it's, it's out of balance. It's, it's not living in a harmonious way. So I feel like they, they are not in alignment with their true self. So that's why this number came up. This, you know, the repeating six came up because of, there's a lot of emotional drainage going on here um, and heartache. So... This person's really not in a great place right now. So let's do a question. If you have a question on the masculine side, um, 
about these cards. Let's do that right now. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, you got yes. It was around the corner, but it was a yes. Okay. So let's go over the feminine side cards. So let's kind of move the masculine over here a little bit. Okay. The sun in reverse. The magician in reverse. The seven of cups. The Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. So it looks like the feminine is going through some things too. Um, okay, so with the Magician in reverse, um, this can be imbalance, um, boredom, lack of confidence, um, being close-minded, um, lack of courage or confidence, having low self-esteem, um, you know, just, just don't believing that you can, um, do this, that you can make this work. It's, it's kind of losing faith in your abilities to manifest things, thinking that, it was, you know, I tried and it didn't work. So, you know, should I give up, you know? And the the sun card in reverse. So this is, you know, lack of courage and confidence. You know, the same type of thing as the magician reverse. Loss of trust, loss of faith. Um, just a period of, you know not believing that you can do this, that um, it's even possible, you know, to get these things that you want. And you could be close-minded about it, not even, you know, wanting to think about it. And the feminine got the four of swords reversed. So it is coming out of period of putting something off. Um... But it comes with a lot of anxiety and nervousness, um, still lacking faith, um, and it can be burning the candle at both ends, ends and um, it's causing a period of where you could almost have health problems because of you just, you're... You're having a lot of problems right now in dealing with the fact that things aren't manifesting. Um, you know, this waiting is causing a lot of stress. And then you've got the Seven of Cups. So this can be where things are aren't really unclear. There's options, there's choices, there's lots of doors, um, but you're not sure which one you wanna go through. So you need to seek guidance from within. Um, you need to use your mental control over your emotions to really bring more balance in. Um, be careful with uh, alcohol, drug, Use because this is only going to add to the illusions. Um, you need to see things clearer. Um, it's a. It's also a desire for material happiness, for spiritual attainment. You know, um, wanting to, um, you know, manifest those those good things in your life. Um, trying to manifest these good things in your life. But kind of at the same time, lacking the confidence or the courage to go after things. You know, feeling very anxious and nervous about it. But, um, you know, it, it is going to become clear, I think, for the feminine. Um, 
but right now there's a lot of fog and things aren't being seen clearly so it's a period of having to wait to see uh, the best way forward because the the there's lots of doors you know there but you have to figure out um, which one to go through so the feminine you know the feminine is really uh, doubting lacking confidence and the masculine is having a lot of heartache um, a lot of emotional drainage um, you know feeling betrayed um, you know, just making some bad choices and expecting, you know, to be given more, you know. Um, they're being kind of selfish, I have to say. The masculine is being kind of selfish um, and not making any choices regarding those uh, problems that they're having. So they're attracting unhealthy um, relationships at this point so let me do a yes no for the feminine um so if the feminine has a question or the masculine has a question about the feminine okay yes is the answer for whatever the question was about the feminine so that is the reading that I have for the green, if you pick the green. So hopefully you like that type of reading. I wanted to try out something different, so hopefully you like it. Let me know down in the comments. And uh, if you do want a personal reading, then shoot me an email, amandarosetarot at hotmail.com. And I am doing a $5 reading. It's a quick reading, but it will give you um, some insight into the question. So thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified the next time I post a reading. So thank you guys and I will see you soon. Love and light. Bye bye. Okay, this is reading number two. If you pick the orange, let's look at your cards. So first we're going to look at the masculine and then we will look at the feminine. So these are the masculine cards. Okay, the five of pentacles, the two of cups, the nine of cups, and the Hierophant. Okay. So with the Masculine right now, um, the Five of Pentacles is hoping for better. It's waiting. It's kind of stressing about things. They could be feeling like um, they were treated badly or that the, it was just not enough. They didn't do enough. And um, they're going through a difficult time. They could be poverty-minded. Um, they need to go check on their health problems. They could be having health problems because of the stress in their life. Um, they're also lacking faith in their creative talents. Um, and they're just, they're just being cold. Um... And they could almost be trapped in like the golden handcuff thinking, you know, that material, um, you know, material things bring happiness and that's really not going to help them. It's not going to actually bring reward them. It may temporarily reward them, but in the long term, it's not going to. So, um, they really, they were hoping for better. Um, and with the two of cups, you know, it's wanting to increase communication, um, feeling rewarded when, um, you are, you know, in connection with this person, um, trusting your intuition. Um, this could be a potential engagement 
or a marriage. It's some sort of coming together with another person and they're both happy. This is a happy event um, between them. So the masculine could be making plans for the future um, and they, they're they knowing about their love and their emotions right now. They, they are realizing um, that they they have love for you so they do want to increase communication um, because they were hoping you know that this would turn out better at this point and then the nine of cups so uh, more cups cards cups are about love and emotion so um, they do want to bring this love offer in um, they have a lot of love to give and this is called the wish card. So they, they're they wishing um, to come in and make you a love offer. Um, they, they really are putting this love on a higher plane here. Um, so it's really fulfilling to them. This relationship, this partnership is very fulfilling to them. And they're feeling confident about it. They're healing because of the love. So it, they have been going through a period of, you know, um, you know, lacking self-confidence, um, feeling cold. And then they're coming into um, this love. They're realizing this love. And it's helping them to heal. So they, they are going to be bringing in an offer. Um... And with the Hierophant, it could be, um, it could be a proposal or something. It could be, um, you know, a, a commitment. It could be a commitment coming in. Um, but this card is also about, um, trusting your intuition, having faith in the higher self, um, overcoming your problems um it could be a, your inner teacher or someone you go to that gives you guidance um it's just having psychic abilities using your psychic abilities um and bringing in some changes um into your life so i think the the masculine is in a good place to where they do want to manifest this and um the period of feeling um stressed out and um being left out in the cold i think that um they're going to be able to get overcome that because of the, they want they want to increase communication and they want to plan for the future and they want to offer some some love um they have lots of love to give and they want to um, give it and it, it's going to help both of you heal um, from this period of feeling left out feeling like you weren't good enough like it you know it, it just wasn't working out so the masculine's in a really good place um, they're moving into this better place so let's do a question for the masculine. So think of a question. Um, if you're the masculine, then this could be about the feminine. It's whatever you want it to be. Okay, so the answer is yes. Whatever your question was, the answer is yes. So now we're going to look at the feminine's cards and see uh, what's the energy that's going up with going on with the feminines right now. Okay, the seven of wands, that's a good one. The queen of cups reversed. So that could be um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. The Hermit in reverse, and the Three of Cups. Okay. So with the feminine, um, 
the Queen of Cups reversed here. Um, this is someone who um, is having a lot of emotional drainage due to a loss, a separation, some unhappy events. Um, could have had a bad temper or just jealousy or resentfulness or just holding grudges. Um, this could represent a Scorpio man because this is reversed. Uh, but this is someone who um, they're unfaithful and they have a bad temper and they can be jealous and they can be holding resentment. Um, when this is in reverse. So, that's not the greatest thing to be feeling that way. And then the Seven of Wands. So, this is a good card. This is success. This is victory. This is um, being selective in social matters. Um, feeling superior in your work. Um relying on your own judgment, um, knowing that you can do it, that believing you can overcome any kind of problems and you're not gonna let anybody stop you from what you want to do. So very motivated person to succeed, um, but has some emotional problems and can be jealous, um, at times and then you've got the three of cups so this is a good card this is um making yourself happy by doing the things that you love to do having good times with people um being emotionally upbeat making plans for celebrations um it could be coming together with other people engagements um, marriage a period where creativity flows. Um, it could be a sexual period, but um, it's thanking the gods and having a lot of joy in your life and doing things that that make you happy and celebrating with friends and family and um, having a good time. And then you've got the hermit in reverse. So it could be coming out of a time where... Um, you were quiet and keeping to yourself. Um, maybe the feminine was feeling kind of misunderstood. Um, they, they were just being selective in their, in their social life. And by doing that, they were just, um, spending a lot of time with, by themselves but they, it's not that they dislike doing that. I feel like they like doing that. Um, but this person, this person is emo going through a period of emotional drain. And it's about this connection, obviously, you know. Um, they hoped for better, um, and the masculine hoped for better, too. So this is a period of... Um, stress, you know, for both parties, uh, a period of loss. Um, but the masculine does want to increase the communication with the feminine. So I think the feminine would be open to that because she also um, wants to uh, believe that everything can be overcome. And, and, and she's the type that's not going to let anyone stop her if she wants something and if it something makes her happy and it's you know um celebrated having celebrations together um you know with this other person then if that makes her happy then she's going to go after what makes her happy so the feminine's coming out of, of a period of quietness of going within and I think she's going to be more open for communication. And the masculine, I think, as well, wants to increase the communication. So let's do a yes, no for the feminine. So if you have a question, if you are the feminine, or if you have a question about the feminine. 
Okay, so we got no, so whatever the question was, it's no. Um, it could just be no for right now. It could change. Um, so I will continue doing readings like this if you guys like these readings. So let me know down in the comments. Very important to let me know if you like that. And I will continue to do them. So thank you for coming. Thank you to all my subscribers. Um, don't forget to like and share this and comment. And um, if you do hit the subscription um, below, don't forget to hit the bell, the notification bell, because that will let you know when I post another reading. So you can be the first there to see um, what's up with the energy connection with your person. So thank you for coming and I will see you very soon. Love and light to you. Bye-bye.